You see, it's not about making millions, and honestly, it's too late for that. But this, this method that I'm about to show you can make you, let's say, just say, a real side hustle, which is going to be steady for you. And no, you don't need 1 million followers. Actually, you don't need 5,000 followers in order to just start getting some money to your pocket while using Kling. And Kling, which you can find down there in the description, I'm not affiliating with them, but I just discovered this and I really enjoy the work. So, you can find it over at clinkai.com, and it's just your usual, well, not so usual video maker. If you hop on to the webpage, you'll see numerous examples, and it's really good. It's really powerful. Let me just open this one. And what I like about this one is that you can see the prompts here, and you can see what people used in order to get this kind of a result, right? So, there's a lot of use cases here. I don't want to waste your time showing you all of these even though they're so good. And honestly, you can spend hours just watching what other people made. So one of these, such as this bird here, well, it gave me an idea. When you scroll on Instagram, right, there's a lot of these quote pages, motivation pages, whatever. Nowadays, you don't have to have a lot of followers in order to just get yourself some money out of it. Once again, it's not gonna be $1,000 the next week. It's just going to be steady and it's going to be something that's just going to grow over time. But if these people on Instagram, this one is a huge page. I don't want to, I mean, they have a lot of followers, but I just want to show you with what kind of content these people made it. So it's just text over a background, right? And there's numerous examples of this. So if they could do it by just putting text over certain background, well, we can do with some AI content, which is, well, people get a, people love to see it nowadays. And this is what I had in mind. So if I just click here on my creatives here, you'll see some of the content that I've made. And for example, I wanted to make a quote page from this. So this is the cat that I made earlier. And this is the prompt that I use. So a cat is standing on a wall behind we see beautiful mountains. It's just that nothing more. Then I used canva.com. I put a video here. Then I just add some text over it and it can go just like this. And then this is the video, right? It's AI content. You can make realistic AI content. You can make some kind of avatars. You can make whatever. I'll show you in a tutorial later on, but this is what it should be, right? So this is the whole content that you got to make. I like this one as well. I made this one earlier as well. It's, you know, you can see that it's AI and maybe quotes could work with this one as well. But let me just show you how to make some of these. So this is going to be your dashboard here. All you got to do now is to choose whether you want to create images or you want to create some videos. If you click on AI videos here, this is your dashboard for that. Now, there's a few options here. There's text to video and it just explains itself. So you just put a text, you put a prompt and it's gonna create a video for you. You've got this free plan. You don't have to pay for it until you see whether this is gonna work for you or not. I think you get some credits for it, like recurringly. Here you choose the duration of the video and of course the aspect ratio. It's always gonna be nine by 16 if you wanna work with Instagram, but you can work with YouTube as well. You know, just take your pick. There is one thing though you have to keep in mind, whichever platform you choose and that is consistency part right all of these people that you see that are successful it's not rocket science all right i'm here to like you know demystify all of that all these people do is they show up every day right and it's not that hard if you make a habit out of it but let's just go back when you use text to video or image to video really really important thing is to use this this is called help center, right? If you click on it, you will be redirected to this guide here. Now, this is what most people skip and they're just like, okay, I know how to do it. I'll just write a prompt. It's not like that, right? Here, you have really, really good explanation and prompt equals to subject, which is subject description plus subject movement. So first of all, you got a subject and then you have subject movement, which is, as you can see here, 
Subject movement is descriptions of the subject's movement status, including stillness and motion. So let's just create one in real time now. So I'll just use, let's just say, a horse. Let's just type in a horse. That's our subject. And let's just say a horse is running. All right. So a horse is running. And there you go. You have subject and you have subject movement. Now, you've got scenes and scenes descriptions. You've got camera language, lighting plus atmosphere. You've got all of that presented here. Let me just increase the size of this one. So you've got everything you need in order to make yourself a good prompt, right? And that is how the work done. As you can see the scene, so it represents the environment in which the subject is situated. So it's foreground, background, and some other elements, whatever you want to go with. I don't want to, you know, spend your time with all of this. I really, really suggest you go over and you just read it through and just practice with it, right? So a horse is running through desert. Let's just say like this. So a horse is running through desert. I'll just keep it simple like this. I'll choose the aspect ratio like this. And then all you got to do is to click on generate here, which is going to be 20 credits. As you can see, I've got like 300 of these and I didn't upgrade my plan, right? So you have a lot of these for free. So you can just test it out. You can play with it until you see whether this is going to work for you or not. I also made this one earlier and I like this one. I've seen these all over Instagram and, you know, it's just moving the camera is just moving through this like street and it's not so complicated, but it's a good scroll stopper, right? I believe that this could work as well. And as you can see here, the estimated time is three minutes. It was like four or five. So it's not so fast, honestly, but it's good, right? It's good. And this is not to say that you got to use quotes only. You can use whatever you want. You maybe have your own niche in your mind. I just want to show you one example. And honestly, if these people made it like this, and there's numerous examples like this, they just write a text over it. If they could do it, you know, AI can yeah, just keep people's attention more. So while we wait, I just want to show you this one as well. This is image to video. Now, this is something that starts with an image and ends with an image, right? So what I did with this example right here is that I put two images. So this is a girl and this is like glass, you know, these two glasses. And what I did here is that I made a prompt like this. So a girl, once more, it's a subject, then is drinking and then transforming into glasses. So we've got subject, we've got the movement, and of course, we've got this transform effect. You see the hands, it's not really what I imagined, but it looks good, right? This is some kind of content which is maybe not for quotes, maybe for something else, you know, but it looks dope, right? It really looks well. And all I did is I put two images here and I made this prompt here and it did the job for me, right? So it's pretty cool. And the video is ready. So just have a look at it. It's, it's perfect. How do I know it's perfect? Well, look at the legs. The legs of this horse are just amazing. It has four legs, you know, all these other AI tools. Well, they just sometimes, well, most of the times they just mess up the legs. They mess up the feet. They mess up, you know, fingers when it comes to humans. But this is so good. So a horse is running through a desert. What do you have to do now? Just click on the download button here and then just use Canva, right? Whatever you want to do, whichever one of these videos you want to use. Then, of course, you just use ChatGPT to get you some quotes, right? Whatever you want to have, put it there, and, you know, it's going to work. Once again, it's not going to make you a millionaire, but there's a side hustle for you. And, of course, just use your own imagination. What do you think you could do with this? And, yeah, it's just important that you start with it, right? The doors will open. So, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, consistency is all you need, right? Anyone can make this. You just have to keep pushing, right? See you in the next one.